friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a soft cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 2 let us observe this surgery in this surgery my aim is to show you mechanical chop in slow motion so that you can use this technique in your surgery and manage such cases in your practice the main incision has been made on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 mm keratome one side port has been made on the left side of the main incision viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber and it has been applied over the cornea now capsulorexis in this case i am trying to do capsulorexis with the uterata forceps itself i'm trying to puncture the capsule yes and now i hold the capsular uh, capsular tag go anti clockwise and start doing the rexis the rexis in soft cataracts should be more than 5.5 mm otherwise it may be very tough in some cases hydro dissection is done well the nucleus should be free nucleus and epinucleus should be free from the capsule and it should rotate nicely in this case the hydro dissection has been done and now some 2% spmc is injected into the anterior chamber and now we are going to see mechanical chop in slow motion the, this is 50% speed the tip of the phaco hand piece is introduced some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated so that we can judge the depth of the pit that we are going to make very accurately and the cortex doesn't obscure the visibility the hand piece has been turned baby is up now and now a small but deep pit is being made just in front of the main incision here it is this is sculpting at this time the vacuum is less and here it is the tip is at the bottom of the pit and it supports the lens mass in front and the chopper divides the nucleus into two halves now let us see this in real time the hand piece goes into the anterior chamber some superficial cortical lens matter is removed the hand piece is turned bevel is up now a pit is dug just in front of the main incision here it is this is the pit just in front of the main incision it is deep but small now the tip just supports the lens mass in front and the chopper divides the nucleus into two heminuclei this is the heminuclei on the left side it has been chopped and the heminuclei on the right side is brought in front and it is also chopped into two fragments so all these are the phaco tip supports the lens mass in front in irrigation no vacuum is used that's why it is known as mechanical chop this term mechanical chop has been coined by dr sri ganesh of netrodhama super specialty eye hospital at bangalore 
and this is a very nice term because we are not using any vacuum we are dividing the nucleus mechanically by two instruments we are almost through FICO energy that is ultrasonic energy in, in this case is only 40 percent flow rate is 400 sorry flow rate is 40 ml per minute vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury nucleus and epinucleus has been managed and we can see that there is some cortical matter superiorly inferiorly from one o'clock to six o'clock there is no lens matter I'm going to use a 23 Gauss Simco in this case because I have made only one side port. And I'm going through the side port now to remove the sub incisional cortex. And it is done. Cortical cleanup has been done. There are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule that has to be polished little bit of polishing is being done by the simco itself but a better instrument is the irrigating probe of bimanual irrigation aspiration now this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens the lens goes into the capsular bag the irrigating probe dials the lens and whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge comes out at this time and now this is a bit of moxifluxacin the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either, either side of this stab incision and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber some visco was sticking to the corneal endothelium a gentle stream of BSS was directed towards the corneal endothelium and the and the OBD came out this is formation of anterior chamber and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in learning mechanical job don't use vacuum Dig a pit just in front of the main incision. Supports the support the lens mass in front of the FECO needle by the FECO needle. And use your chopper to divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Thank you very much for your attention.